We're standing on 40 acres, which is 14 hectares here in Costa Rica. Back in the 70s, the Costa Rican government had a program that offered land to the local Ticos. Um, they would give them land for free with a, a limitation that they couldn't sell it for 10 years and then they, they needed to uh, farm it for coffee. This particular farm went through a couple different hands, uh, of which they were more interested in cattle, and so they had cleared and removed the coffee and put it into pasture, and so now we're in a position where we're able to return the land to not only jungle and forest, but also into coffee and impact uh, the world in a positive way. At the top of the property, we have a nature preserve, and at the bottom of the property, we also have another nature preserve. My farm sitting right in between, it seemed like a perfect opportunity to be able to put uh, additional shade trees, not only to protect the, uh, the future coffee, but also to protect the watershed as well as to re-establish wildlife corridors. And that's uh, what this particular property has given me an opportunity to do. Two sustainable practices uh, that we're planning on implementing on the farm in the future, uh, one of which will be for um, fertilization and we'll be reusing the pulps from the extraction of the seeds from the coffee cherries. And the second will be to put a, uh, a microprocessing mill on site that has its own drying patio so that we can do 100% uh, natural dried uh, coffee rather than using fossil fuels or using wood in order to heat a drum and to actually dry them artificially. The other thing that we'll be doing is cleaning around the springs and then creating some concrete container um, areas so that we can gravity feed uh, irrigation to the plants that require them. On our farm, we decided to grow our coffee plants from seed. The main reason for this is if we uh, ended up getting established plants, they'd be coming from a nursery, and most of the nurseries are quite a distance from the farm. So instead, we've established a nursery that's very, very close to the farm in order to minimize the carbon footprint on not only growing uh, right from the seed, but then the transportation to get them here. It is a lot of effort, but being a, a real fan of Costa Rica, it gave me a, a perfect opportunity to feel as though I could make a difference uh, by restoring a piece of land that I was uh, very passionate about. There he is. <laughs> there he goes.